Okay, hi everybody, Leanne Forrest here, and welcome to my webinar about natural solutions for allergies. Uh, if you just hold on for a second, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. There you go. So let's get started. You know, if we haven't met yet, um, here's just a little bit about me. I am a holistic health coach and I, I specialize in family health and cancer coaching. I also am a certified essential oils coach. I've written two books, How to Get Your Kids to Bake for Veggies, as well as 100 Ways to Lose Weight. And I have two kids. I'm married, um, living in Texas, and you can always find me at groovybeats.com. So let's get started. Um, according to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, an allergy is when your immune system reacts to a foreign substance, and it's called an allergen, right? So it could be something you eat, inhale into your lungs, inject into your body, or touch. And this reaction could cause coughing, sneezing, itchy eyes, runny nose, a scratchy throat, and in severe cases, it could cause rashes, hives, low blood pressure, breathing trouble, asthma attacks, and even death. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some leading causes of allergies, all right? So some people experience seasonal allergies while others experience more long-term and consistent allergy symptoms. And Dr. Axe, a naturopathic doctor that you can find at draxe.com, created a list of common causes for allergies while still maintaining that it's not always easy to pinpoint, pinpoint the cause. So here are some of the common contributors for allergy symptoms. Pollen from trees, plants, grass, um, dust, including the kinds found around your home. Certain foods, especially those known to cause the, you know, most of the food allergies, such as gluten, dairy, tree nuts, especially peanuts, and then eggs, soy, and shellfish. And then insect bites and stings are a big one, as well as animal fur, dander, mold can be a big one. Um, certain medications, such as antibiotics, can cause a reaction, and then latex can also cause a reaction. So are you now asking yourself, how would you know for sure if what you're experience is, you know, experiencing is allergy related? So let's look at some symptoms before we dive into the natural remedies, okay? So some of the symptoms for an allergy reaction could include a runny or stuffy nose, sneezing, wheezing, shortness of breath, coughing, um, a rash or hives, fatigue, headache, nausea, vomiting, XX mucus, watery or itchy eyes, or an itchy throat. So there is a more exhaustive list on Dr. Axe's website, draxe.com. All right, so if your doctor suspects your allergies are food related, you may be advised to go on an elimination diet for two to four weeks to help identify what foods are causing your allergy symptoms. You could also do an allergy test or for food sensitivities. And sometimes not all tests are created equal. I personally like the ALCAT test and administer that for my clients because it, will, it um, not only will uncover severe food allergies, but it also uncover food sensitivities, which aren't always easy to find, okay? So an elimination diet will eliminate some of the most problematic foods associated with allergies. And then slowly reintroduce, reintroducing them can help to pinpoint the cause of the allergy. Okay, so here's a list of foods from the Food Allergy Research and Education um, that your doctor will likely eliminate if you're experiencing symptoms of food allergy. And many of them are ones I just named, like gluten, dairy, soy, refined and added sugar, peanuts, corn, alcohol, eggs in some cases, but not always, and usually all packaged, processed, or fast foods. So, um, and FYI, a lot of those things are not really healthy for anybody, whether you have a food sensitivity or not and cutting them out can make you feel a lot better, help you lose weight, and help you reduce joint pain, get rid of brain fog, so um, just kind of a side note there, but you know, you're probably wondering what can you eat, right, if you have some of these food sensitivities. Okay, so some of the things you can eat are whole grains, dark leafy vegetables, and egg yolks, which are all high in vitamin E, and then cold pressed flax oil or evening primrose oil, which also contain high levels of vitamin E. Oily fish, such as cod, herring, mackerel, salmon, and sardines are high in omega-3s, which are really great. And then pineapple and papaya contain anti-inflammatory enzymes. The pineapple contains the enzyme called bromelain, which is very good for your digestive system. And then 
uh, papaya contains the anti-inflammatory enzyme called pepain. So uh, turmeric, which is a rich spice, also used in Indian and Far Eastern dishes, contains an anti-inflammatory bioflavonoid quercetin. Okay, so don't worry, we've got you covered with some recipes to get you started, all right? So there's a lot of options for breakfast, um, both savory and sweet and whatever you're craving. There's a lot of anti-allergy recipes to get you started that fit the guidelines to an elimination diet. And so just go into groovybeats.com and that's groovy and the B E E T S.com um, for any kind of recipes that you're looking for, sweet or savory. And so I've just listed a few that you can find at groovybeats.com. Okay. And same thing with lunch. So for a lot of us, lunch happens on the go or it's eaten without too much thought. And with our busy lives, planning, preparing lunches, you know, sometimes it's a challenge and, you know, to be on an allergy free diet, but it's worth it. Take the time to prepare for your day and maintain to, you know, it helps you to maintain your energy levels so that you can stay on track with making the right choices. So again, groovybeef.com has some wonderful creative lunch options and I've just listed a few just to kind of give you an idea. And then, you know, we know that it takes a little bit of planning for pre preparation for dinner, but Groovy Beats still has you covered. So here are some, you know, great veggie pack, delicious recipes for you to try. And you can just go to groovybeats.com and search recipes and allergy free and that should help you. And then finally, you don't have to, you know, eliminate dessert. You can finally and still have dessert on the table. So thankfully, so many people have already made the move to eating allergy free. Because of this, there's countless healthy recipes out there that soothe the sweet tooth without adding the sugar. So your taste buds will thank you. But again, go to groovybeats.com. Here are some recipes that I've listed that are available, but there's many more on the website, okay? So aside from diet, vitamins are another way to naturally decrease allergy symptoms, okay? And many naturopathic doctors suggest some of the following vitamins for allergy sufferers. First, vitamin C is a big one because it prevents the formation of histamine. And then probiotics. Um, those probiotics, when you take probiotics, they have an influence on the body's immune response because it helps to create a, a healthy gut flora. Uh, and we know that our gut is very well connected to our immune system. And so you don't want to just look for any probiotics. You want to look for a probiotic with a prebiotic in it. And um, stay tuned and I'll let you know some suggestions on how to find the right ones um, toward the end of the webinar. And then a multivitamin. So multivitamins actually help with the body's metabolism, digestion, and the function of the immune system. And studies have shown that the most people are deficient in essential nutrients. So a, a multivitamin is a great way to get these foundational nutrients, okay? And again, I'll give some su suggestions and ways you can find brands at the end of this webinar, okay? And then EPA DHA fish oils, which are high in omega-3, are you know very highly important when you're trying to fight allergies, as well as just overall good health. And they've been associated with a decrease of risk of hay fever. And then quercetin, which is a great go-to. It's a bioflavonoid found in onions. Ironically, you know, it treats watery or itchy eyes associated with allergies. And it comes from onions, so I thought that was kind of funny. So when suffering from allergies, the last thing you may think to do is get up and get out for a little exercise, but actually exercise can help you with allergy symptoms. Regular physical activity helps to decrease allergy symptoms by improving blood flow in your body, which promotes the removal of allergens. And so the common allergy symptoms that make us feel so miserable, which include itchy eyes, runny nose, fullness in the ears, pressure in the sinuses, and overall fatigue, exercise will help those. So although you can't exercise away your allergies, working out regularly can definitely minimize your symptoms because the improved blood flow that results from exercise helps prevent the delicate tissues surrounding your nose, mouth, and lungs from being inflamed. Okay, so does that make sense? So the best part is that the exercise doesn't have to be intense or challenging. All you need to do to get your blood pumping is just, is just get moving, right? Try not to overexert yourself though because you may actually ag aggravate your symptoms. Okay, so lace up your tennis shoes and get out for a nice walk, okay? So most people who are struggling with an allergy go to the doctor to be treated and are routinely given pharmaceuticals from um, acetaminophens or to you know antihistamines. So both, which actually further aggravate the allergy symptoms they were given for. 
Okay, and this is referenced by DrAxe.com again. So still, sometimes we just need that for immediate relief, right? right? But I'm here to tell you that there's other options or things that will also help to improve your symptoms, okay? So some of these we're gonna dig into a little bit in a little bit more detail. So first there's acupressure. And then if you're not familiar with it, there's a neti pot, which I'll talk about, and then apple cider vinegar. And of course my favorite, which is essential oils, which I use for health every single day. And then bone broth is a great go-to for overall health and then garlic. So let's just dig in a little bit. So the Cleveland Clinic suggests that acupressure is a way to relieve the sinus pressure caused by allergies. An acupressure session can be as short as six minutes and involves a strategic placement of the fingers on specific pressure points along the face, okay? So if you wanna really learn about how to do this, like see a video um, on the demonstration on how to self-apply acupressure for instant relief of your sinus pressure, you could go to YouTube and just search in the um, search bar, okay? And then garlic. So garlic, we know, is a superfood with antihistamine properties, and it's also a natural antibiotic that boosts your immunity and helps to expel allergens from the body. So as a remedy for allergy symptoms, it is advised that only raw garlic be used for the best results. So luckily, we also have honey. So we can have honey. So all of these help to boost your immune system and address your allergy symptoms, okay? So many people find allergy relief by using a neti pot. You know, I own one, I think it's very useful, and it's somewhat of a teapot-shaped vessel used to clear the sinuses. The organic allergy relief online has instructions on how to properly use a neti pot, in case you don't know. And so first, just to give you an idea, it's important to note that you must use purified water and picking, uh, pickling salt to fill your neti pot, okay? So you should fill the neti pot with warm solution and then raise it to your slightly tilted head and then point the neti pot spouse into the top nostril and pour in slowly. So you're tipping your head back and pouring it in slowly. And of course, be over sink so you don't make a mess. And just allow the solution to flow through your sinus cavity and out the bottom nostril, okay? So make sure that you don't make any significant facial movements and don't inhale whatever you do. Don't inhale through your nose or else you, are ch you will choke, okay? So some water will drip down your throat and this will tell you just to make an adjustment so that the solution will actually flow out the side of your nose. So relax and just adjust your position until your nasal pathways are completely cleared, okay? So after, you, after proper use, you should experience some sinus relief. All right, so. Moving on here, so anyway, yeah, apple cider vinegar. So according to Earth Clinic, a website dedicated to natural cures, apple cider vinegar is a great way or a great remedy for allergy sufferers, okay? So most of us think of our grandmothers when apple cider vinegar comes to mind. And for ages, it's been used as a natural remedy for countless health concerns. And as it turns out, allergies are on that long list. So and here's why because allergy, apple cider vinegar contains a number of beneficial compounds, including acidic and malic acid, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, and several others. And these nutrients function to balance the body's natural pH to prevent ill health and to remedy such issues as allergies and other seasonal disorders. So the nutrient contains also boost the immune system and functioning. So you see how all these things work to boost the immune system so that your body can be in the right position to fight off the allergies. So um, here's how the Earth Clinic suggests using apple cider vinegar for allergy relief. First, mix one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and one teaspoon of honey in eight ounces of warm water. And then once it's combined, you drink the tonic and repeat morning and evening. All right, so there's many essential oils that are often used for immediate relief of aller for allergy sufferers. And essential oils can be used, have hundreds of different uses and people using them for allergies are one of probably one of the most popular. So Jenny Hills, who's a medical writer and researcher, assembled a list of essential oils targeting allergies. And here's a few of them. First, peppermint essential oil has anti-inflammatory properties and can help to quickly clear block sinuses and ease nasal congestion caused by allergies. And then lavender oil, works as a natural antihistamine and will help to reduce inflammatory allergic reactions to your body. And then there's chamomile oil, which is a soothing herb that's known for its relaxing properties. So if you have itchy red skin rashes or hives caused by allergies, then use chamomile oil for fast relief. And then tea tree oil, also known as melaleuca oil, 
can help to remedy allergic skin reactions by reducing inflammation and preventing infections. And the antibacterial properties of tea tree oil can also be used in destroying mold, fungi, and bacterial particles in the air, thus reducing the symptoms of allergies at home. And then lemon essential oil is used to treat respiratory problems associated with allergic reactions. And lemon, lemon is a natural antioxidant agent that can help to cleanse toxins and reduce the body's response to allergens, okay? And so stay tuned to the end of my webinar because I'm gonna give you some free essential oil um, information. And in that, you'll learn what brand I love to use because you definitely want to pick pure um, therapeutic grade oils. You don't wanna just go to the local grocery store and start using these things for your health when you don't know where they come from how they're sourced, or if they're pure, okay? So that's very important. So bone broth. Bone, bone broth is a great addition to your diet if you're an allergy sufferer, and drinking bone broth helps you to break up and release excess nasal mucus. And it's also known to reduce inflammation in the body, which will begin the relief for some allergy symptoms, okay? So that wraps up a lot of it. You know, we've covered a lot today, and you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, but you've got this, you know, you came for a reason and that's to make more informed, better decisions for natural allergy relief. And I think you're on your way to making a difference in your life. And I, my hope is that the tools that I provided today are just what you need to get started. But because I love you, I want to give you some gifts today. And so um, if you just text 44222, I would like to provide my free gifts to you, which include a nutrient deficiency quiz. 30 days of my anti-inflammatory paleo recipe program, my free essential oils for health and healing webinar, and then my, my information on um, which cleanse supplements I use three times a year, um, and then also my core health supplements. So that's it for me. I think if you have any information or any comments or questions, you can always feel free to reach out to me and I hope that you do at leanne at and bye for now.